Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I will show you how you can install any version of Windows on your computer without any pen drive. So without wasting any time, let's get started. To install Windows on your computer. First, you will need an ISO of Windows you want to install. For example, here I'm going to install Windows 11. So, I'll download Windows 11 ISO file here. To download it, open any web browser, search for the version of Windows you want to download, and hit enter. You will get Microsoft's official link at the top. Just open it. Now follow the instructions and download the ISO file. After the download got finished, we need to create a partition in our computer to keep installation files during the installation. For that, click on the Start menu, search for Create and Format Disk Partition, and hit Enter. The Disk Manager will be opened here. To create the partition, first, we have to shrink the volume of at least 6 GBs. Here I have one partition by default. In your case, you may have more. Doesn't matter, right-click on this C partition, and click on the Shrink Volume option. Now here it asks how much space you want to shrink. Here I want to shrink 600 MBs, which is probably near 6 GBs. Now click on Shrink. An allocated space of 6000 MBs will be created. Now we have to create a partition here. For that, right-click on it, and click on the New Simple Volume option. Now click Next, Next, Next. Here you have to set the allocation unit size to 8192. Then click on Next, and then Finish. Now open the folder where we have downloaded the ISO. Double click on it to mount it. Now select all these files and copy them. Then go to the newly created partition and paste the files here. Now we have to create an entry in our system to boot into this partition. Because NTFS partitions can't be bootable by default. For that, we will need a software called EasyBCD. To download it, open a web browser, search for EasyBCD, and hit enter. Now go to the first website. Click on See More. Then click on the register. Now click on Download to download it. After that, you have to install it on your computer. It will ask for the administrator's permission. Choose yes. Now click on next. Next. I agree. Next, and then install. After the installation, open it. Now click on add new entry. Under the WinPE tab, click on this little icon. A file dialog will pop up. Go to the partition where we have pasted the files. Go to the source folder and select this boot.vim file. You can rename it for your convenience. Then click on this small green icon to add it. Now close this program. And restart the computer. Now it asks where you want to boot. Select the second option. Now Windows Setup will be loaded. Select your country and region and click on Next. Click on Install Now. If you have a product key, you can enter it here, otherwise, skip it for now. Select the edition of Windows you want to install. I'll suggest you to choose the Pro Edition for Windows 10 or 11. Now accept this agreement and click on Next. Choose Custom here. Now here you have to be careful. You can delete or format any partition except where our installation files were copied. We may remember it by name or size. Delete all the partitions except where our installation files were stored.
Now select this space and click on Next. The setup will automatically create a partition and install the windows in it. This process may take around 15 to 20 minutes. You have to wait here. After the installation, you have to set it up, as you do with a new PC or laptop. After all, make sure to open the display setting to fix any resolution issue you are having. Now update your Windows from Windows Updates. It will automatically detect and install all the missing drivers, like graphics and audio drivers. This was how we can install Windows without pen drive. I hope this video was helpful. If so, do hit the like button, and if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing to us. Make sure to set the bell icon to all to get notified when I publish a new video. See you soon in another one, for till, bye bye.